What is good, Grey Gang? We're actually at a place you may have never seen before. We're actually at my other grandma's house, not Mammy. Actually, some of y'all probably do remember it. This here's Paco, you know, me and him. We tried to go out there and kill squirrels. Didn't get anywhere because he's a chihuahua, not a squirrel dog. But here's what we got going on. Over there, massive cornfield. We've actually crow hunted over there before. There's some turkeys way back there in the back field. But what we're really interested in are some crows up here right up front. You can hear them right now. They're starting to fly off. Okay, guys, I brought my 22 because this happens pretty often. I'm gonna go ahead and strap on the scope cam. Let me tell you guys, I think we can get us a crow here too. Plus, the people who own that cornfield, they're, uh, they're Mennonites, which means... Well, I don't really know. But they really don't like crows because they eat all the corn. But anyways, boys, here we go. Getting out the old 22 with the Kindle Great Optics coming soon, baby. Now, I've got a bipod on this sucker. We're just going to set up here. We're going to take the shot, guys. No more than about a 100-yard shot. I think we can take them out easy. Okay, guys, I don't have much time. I've got to take the shot now. Here we go. Taking the shot. I missed him. Dang it, I missed him. My goodness, dude. I'm looking at this one cornfield. We got three different kinds of birds. We got turkeys way over there. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna get on the scope cam so y'all can see. As you can see, way out there is the turkeys. And yes, there there is a there is a road by me, so occasionally you will hear cars. But out there's the turkeys. I'm gonna move it across the field here. The crows that we just shot at. And then way over there, I don't know how good y'all can see it, but there's geese, gooses. Mon geese? I don't know, but I'm definitely not going to shoot those. Definitely not going to shoot the turkeys. Crows is what we're after, because crows, you know, well, they're they're known for being not exactly the most desired species in the world. But yeah, guys, hate to say it, but I think I may have just ruined my, ruined my chances here. How did I do that? That's an easy shot, too. Easy shot. I don't know. There, there's actually quite a few sticks between me and that crow, so I guess it's kind of understandable. That's okay, guys. I'm going to be here for about the next three hours, and so I believe what I'm going to do is every so... I can't handle this. I can't live near a road. At my house, I live in the middle of nowhere. I can't, I can't hardly handle this. I don't know. I'm not a car guy. And before you guys jump on me saying I'm too close to a road to be shooting a firearm. Yes, I am, guys. We got that cleared. We're good. But I am going to be here for like the next three hours. So every so often, I look out the window, poke my head out here. If we got more, I'll come back and shoot at them. But until then, let me show you my little sniper's nest. I've actually shot up here a few times. Huge field to look out over. And then here's my little 22. Got a little table right here. Scope cam, everything ready to go. Bipod. This is a really good position to shoot stuff. Really good sniper's nest, I guess. But I tell you what, guys. I can still kind of hear the crows. I don't think they're gonna go anywhere long term like i think they've left for now but i think give them 20 minutes i think they'll be right back over here spoiler alert they never came back but it is actually the next day i'm back at my house i'm back on my home turf what was that there's a stinking woodpecker we'll let him live but i tell you what even though we don't have cornfields filled with crows here i do have a crow call on my neck and what i'm thinking is you know try calling a few and then tr snipe them yeah, that's the best plan I got, guys. It's freezing out here. The wind's blowing a little bit. Don't know if the crows are going to make a big deal out of that or not. Hopefully, they don't try to be difficult or anything. They just come to me. Probably not, but we're about to find out. Since it is literally freezing outside, I'm just going to get in this random building here, try to cut a little wind off of me. But before I get into that building and the sound sounds like I'm in a barrel, I'm going to tell you a little bit what, what's going to happen right now. So what's going to happen? I'm going to get on my crow call. I don't know why I keep pulling out my chest. It's under my little Carhartt thingy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow the call and then, you know, Blow it a lot, and then keep blowing it some more. And then a, a crow is going to come. This is the scout crow. You're not supposed to shoot the scout crow. The scout crow will come, sit on a tree limb, make sure everything's all right. And then that scout crow goes back, gets all of his homies, wrangles them up, and brings them back to all the fun. And so you're not supposed to shoot the scout crow because the scout crow's actually the guy who gets the rest of the crows. But today, I'm just going to shoot the scout crow because I don't really care. Now... Let's get in this build, start calling. And you gotta take into account, I'm using a 22, so if one lands in a tree, I better take my opportunity. It's not like I can snipe them out of the sky, or at least not today. Usually can. Oh snap, this chair is not gonna support me the whole time. I can hear the threads breaking right now. Okay, well, we're just not gonna move much. And so sitting in the building, here's my view. Right there's the door, because it fell off like a month ago or something, I don't know. But I got a few shooting lanes. Right here on my left side, got that part of the field. Probably snipe some off the tie wall. Straight in front of me, I got all that to shoot out of. Just gotta watch out not to hit that thing. Then over here's the door, and then personally my favorite shooting hole, 
the ceiling there, you know. Big big gust of wind came, opened that up so that I can shoot out of it. Don't know if I can, you know, there ain't, ain't no trees in that direction from the land in, but I'm sure we may work something out if he wants to tango that way. But without further ado, boys, I think we start calling. Let me finally reach down my shirt and you can see what I kept pointing at the whole time. Here it is. There you go. Now, I usually have an electronic call for crows, but my mom lost the controller. Of course it was her fault. I'd never do anything like that. All right, here we go, boys. I'm just going to crow a little bit. Hopefully one's come over here. I might, If it doesn't, I, I understand why. Probably because it's five degrees and 60 mile an hour wind. All right, here we go. The crows are probably wondering why is that one crow doing sitting in a building? And why does he sound like he's in a barrel? And we do have the scope camp today. I didn't forget about that. Earlier in the day, I did see quite a few crows flying around solo. So hopefully that's a good sign. Maybe there's a bunch of roamers out here today. We can capitalize on one of them. Fun fact, I've killed like three crows in my life and went hunting about 30. I tell you what guys, I'm going to turn off the camera because my hands are freezing right now. Put them in my pockets. If a crow comes, we're going to have the scope cam on so you'll probably be seeing it that way. Three hours later. I tell you what guys, crows ain't coming. The more I blew into my call, the harder the wind started to blow. And I tell you guys, I ain't going to be surprised if the wind blows this building right off the hill. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. That's why it's in this shape. It's why the door's gone. And half the roof. And the floor. But as for now, I'm actually going to send you back in time to last night when the craziest things in the world happened to me. And then after that, we're going to dive right on in to the verse of the week. Yeah, here's what happened last night. It was wild, guys. Boys, I'm just out here in the middle of the field on the mule. And we got us one. We got us one, boys. We got us a runner. I don't know if y'all can see him or not. There he goes. He's a runner. He's a runner. We got a little possum. We got a little possum. Oh, snap. He turned on me. What are you going to do, boy? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let's see if I can... And that there, son, is how you catch a possum without a trap. Well, what do I do with them? That's the question now. I mean, look at so cheese head. I don't know how good we can see him here. I'm filming on my iPhone because I just look over and think I see a rabbit. He starts smiling at me. Well, shoot far, man. It's about the easiest way I've ever caught a possum in my life. As much as I'd like to say that's a first for me, I can't, because it is definitely not the first time I have jumped out of a moving vehicle and snatched a possum. All right, possum, we'll see you. Guess what? The chase is not over. I'm coming for you on the mule. I'm not gonna do anything to you. I'm just gonna chase you in the mule because, well, I don't know. I kind of spared your life right there and you owe me something. Make a break for the woods, man. Make a break for the woods. There he goes. Oh, nope. He's still going in circles. Possum on the run. Possum on the run. Possum on the run. Possum on the run. What's he going to do next? I bet you can't guess it. Oh, yes, he's doing it. He's going in circles. He's completing his circles. <laughs> this is the wildest thing I've ever done in my life, boys. I am chasing a possum doing donuts. I mean, I wish he'd just stop doing the circles. We could get somewhere. All right, I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go. Yeet! I'm going back, baby. Oh, snap. I about hit him that time. Come on, Peter. You got to get out of here sometimes. Go on and ride in the... Go on back to the woods. But for real, I was just riding out here. No clue in the world what I'm doing. I look over and I see this... This, this just mass just sitting there. I'm like, oh, there's a rabbit. And then it smiles at me. Uh-uh. No, sir. That ain't no rabbit. That's a stinking possum. Where'd he go? Okay. I gave him time to get away. Now let's see if we can find him again. I mean, he shouldn't be too hard to find because, I mean, well, he's a possum. All right, he should get away now. I gave him plenty of time to get out of the way. I don't know. I can't find him. Maybe he had a successful break. I don't know. I mean, should I should I took him off somewhere? Should I have let that guy go? I mean, he's definitely not harming me any right now. He's out in the middle of the field. Honestly, I have no clue what this sucker was doing. But, I mean, as far as I know, he was to no harm to me. So, I just, I just let him go. Okay, tell you what, boys. Search is over. Possum got away. See you some other time, possum. And as for me, I'm just going to keep riding around on my mule. And if I see a possum or a goat or something, I'll get back with y'all. See ya. So, now that we 
kind of just let that possum go. Thinking about it now, we probably should have took him somewhere else. That way he couldn't have bothered me in the future. But anyways, it's time for the verse of the week. And it's not necessarily a verse as it is a very, very important, like, quote in a way. It's a quote, but by someone who I forgot who said it. So as 21st century humans, we're around people quite often. Whether it be work, school, the park. I don't really know. But while engaging with those people, we know that some people are mean. Some people are just w weird, I guess. But here's the quote. Those who deserve love the least need it the most. So if you're thinking like there's a person that's like they're, 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 there's, there's something wrong with them and they're mean to everybody, maybe that's a good reason for you to go show love to them because maybe that's exactly what they need. They could be acting a certain way because no one showed them love to begin with. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you go to school and you see someone who's not exactly nice and don't exactly deserve a lot of love, just go out and give them a high five and pat them on the back show them some love. You don't even know how much that'll help them. And now I'll tell you what guys, I can't really see because the sun's in my face. The wind it's getting heavier and I can feel the building shaking now. I'm gonna go in the house before I fall off a hill and can't make YouTube videos anymore. I said bye. Hey y'all, make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and buy some merch at candlegrave1.com slash shop or the link in the description. Hashtag, Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag, Hashtag Grey Gang. Gang.